Okay, so in this example, sorry about that guys, this is 35 degrees. So in this example, all we simply need to do is we need to identify which trigonometric functions. We have the opposite and the hypotenuse. So I want to say the sine of an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. I have my angle, which is 35 degrees. I have my opposite side, and I have my, I do need to solve for my uh, hypotenuse. You cannot solve for a variable when it's in the denominator, so I need to multiply by my variable on both sides to get the x off the denominator. Then I need to isolate the x, so I'll divide by the sine of 35 degrees on both sides, and I get the expression x e or the equation x equals 7 divided by the sine of 35 degrees. Huh? You could, you could use cosecant as well. Um, that's not a problem. The only issue is, though, when you have to type it in, um, you, could, you just need to know the relationship between cosecant and sine, um, which we're going to get into later. But you could definitely use cosecant as long as you know how to go between cosecant and sine. So my calculator, and you should get the same answer, would be 7 divided by the sine of 35. And I'm getting 12.204. So x is approximately 12.204. If you didn't get the same answer, please make sure you check with me before we 